Hello and welcome to Miss Ma's Grade 11 Functions class. This is 7.6, the Geometric Series. So we're actually going to be using a really similar method for finding the Geometric Series general term that we use to find the Arithmetic Series general term, S sub n. And we used, remember we used um, Gauss's method to do that. So if you want, you could pause the video and try to figure it out on your own, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. So the geometric series is S sub n, uh, a plus a r plus a r squared, and so forth, until we get to a times r to the n minus 1. That's the general term for the er geometric series, um, sorry, sequence. And we just add them all together to get the series. Um, now to modify the Gauss's method, we're actually going to multiply by r. Um, so r times sn. And uh, this is going to be a, a nice little elimination that's going to happen here. So we're going to get ar plus ar squared plus ar cubed and so forth until we get a times r to the n minus 1 plus a times r to the n, right? So that's kind of what is going on there. So to play with this a little bit, I'm actually going to grab all the terms right here and move them over so that they are lined up with their pairs. So you can see now ar is lined up uh, with ar and ar squared is lined up, ar to the n minus 1 is lined up, and ar to the n. So it's by itself. So you can see that I've got a little gap here and a little gap here. And I'm actually going to subtract one term, one um, equation from the other. So this is an elimination. So we're going to do a subtract, and you're subtracting all of these terms from all of the top terms, right? So in the front, we're going to get um, r times s sub n minus s sub n, and here we're going to get zero minus a, a r minus a r, which is zero, a r squared minus a r squared zero, and so forth all these end up being 0 until we get to a r to the n because that's actually going to be minus nothing so just you get just get a r n so th if i common factor this i get s sub n times r minus 1 is equal to and i'll get negative a plus a times r to the n see so now i'm just going to simplify this a little bit further so i can um, isolate a s sub n because that is the term I'm looking for. So, and I'm also going to factor the a out and s just rearrange these so I get r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. And this is actually the general term for the series of geometric series. Um, if you look at this version also, you can see that it's actually going to be a sub n is equal to n uh, a r to the n minus a over r minus 1. Um, and this is actually term n plus 1 minus the first term, a, um, over r minus 1. So that's another uh, formula that we could use for that. So I've just written it on the next page. This is the one that you want to memorize, and it's very useful. You do need to memorize it because, um, well, I guess you could derive it um, in the beginning of a test or whatever, but I think it's just easier to memorize it. Personally, uh, the method is a little bit difficult for me to remember, so um, it's up to you. You can totally derive it on your own if you want. So now we're going to apply it. Fish eggs hatch at different times, even if they're fertilized at the same time. So if the number of fish hatched on the first four days after fertilization was 2, 10, 50, and 250 respectively, and the pattern continued for the first 10 days, how many baby fish will there be from the batch of eggs? So um, we fertilize on the first day, and on the first day we get two hatchings. On the second day we're getting 10, the third day is 50, and the fourth day is 250. So obviously we want to add all these together. So on the fourth day there's going to be 2 plus 10 plus 50 plus 250 number of fish that are hatched. Um, so we want to know after how many, after n days, 10 days, n equals 10. Um, and we know that t, t sub 1 is 2, so that's also a. And now we just have to find r and we can plug into our formula. So um, if we do a division, you can see t2 over t1 is equal to 5. And if you want, you could check all of them. t3 divided by t2 is also 5. t4 <laughs> over t3 is also equal to 5. So we know that r has to be equal to 5. So we can just plug that into the formula. It's pretty straightforward. s sub n is equal to a times r to the n minus 1 over 
r minus 1, and just use the values we found. So a was 2, r was 5, n was 10, I wrote that up there, minus 1 over 5 minus 1. You type it into your calculator, make sure you use brackets properly. You might actually want to just do it so that you know that you are getting it done correctly, and it ends up being 4882812. If you want, you can just put your little commas there. So because it's a word problem, I'll answer in words. There will be 4,882,812 baby fish. That's a lot of fish. And there you go. So it adds up really quickly, as you can see, of course, because it's a geometric series. Um, so exponential growth. This is our last question. Calculate the sum of the geometric series, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so I know my first term is going to be 7,971,615. And I'm adding up all the way to 92,160. Um, and I don't know what n is, and I don't know what r is, but I can find r really easily, which is by dividing. So if you do 5314410 over 79716115, we get 2 over 3. And this is going to be, oops, it's kind of an ugly 3, sorry, equals 2 <laughs> over 3. There we go. Um, this is going to equal r, and uh, so we can use that as r, and you can double check by doing 3,542,940 divided by 5314410, and you should also get 2 over 3. Now, the real temptation here is to always do the division of the bigger number divided by the smaller number. Make sure you are doing the second term over the first term, right? It's always got to be t2 over t1 to get r. It's not the other way around, so it's really, really tempting to do t1 over t2, but that it will not be equal to r, so don't do that, okay? Um, so I've got my r, I've got my a, uh, and I could plug it into the formula s sub n is equal to a r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. However, that means that I have to figure out what n is, and of course that's not too difficult. We could do it like t sub n is equal to a times r to the n minus 1, um, but I don't really want to do it that way because there's actually a quicker way. I know that s sub n is also equal to t1, sorry, t n plus 1, t sub n minus plus 1, minus t sub 1 over r minus 1. And because I have t sub 1 and I have t sub n, it's actually really easy to find t sub n plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know that um, t sub n plus 1 is going to be r times t sub n. And I know t sub n and I know r. It's 2 thirds times 92. 2160, which ends up being, if you use your calculator, 61440. So um, I'm going to just plug that into the equation and then I'll find the answer. So it's 61,440 minus the giant first term, which was 79716150 over um, two-thirds minus one. Sorry, I was just slightly confused right there. So we'll get negative 7910175 divided by negative one-third, and it ends up being 237305525. So there you go. <laughs> it's a nice big number. And you can always double check to see if you think it's uh, approximately right. We're adding really, really big numbers. We're adding a whole bunch of them. So we do expect it to be a positive number, and we do expect that it should be pretty large, like that in the millions or billions. So um, that's good. Okay. So just in summary, basically we uh, derived the um, general equation for the geometric series, and then we applied it in a couple of different ways. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!